like to say uh, to students is that when you think you have enough water, add more. In watercolors, the purpose is to see that white show through and to create transparency. And you'll notice I work with the colors that are already on my palette. I'm just adding some water to a color that I like. This will be the glass. So I'm going to add just a light wash. Notice that I'm using the side of my brush, constantly keeping water loaded in my brush. It's okay to leave white spaces. Actually, I prefer to do it. It gives it much more texture and character. So another thing that I do is I'll splash every once in a while, and you'll figure out why when we get to the end of the project. You also don't have to paint the colors that are in your actual still life. You know, this is where your imagination can take over. Again, I'm just working with the colors that I kind of already have on my palette. I paint pretty messy, and I like the leftover colors. Always more water, always a little bit more paint. In my work, you need to keep it really, really wet. And you'll notice I'm not adding a ton of color right now. We'll do another watercolor layer later in the project. Again, lots of water, just a little bit of color. You can always add color. You can't subtract color very easily in watercolors. So I'm just going to drop a little bit of this in. I'm going to add this here. Just light, easy washes. Also keep in mind when you're working on this, try not to create so much detail in your first drawing that you're filling in little tiny spaces. Once you start filling in little tiny spaces, the gaps between them show a lot in your work. So these are just nice, easy washes.